Welcome back, people. Still on the journey of our 238 days Bible reading. Today is the 34th day. And it has been over a month now. The Lord has been helping us. And He will keep helping us and we will finish this. And I know at the end of this, your lives, my life, our lives will never remain the same in the name of Jesus. Today we are reading from Deuteronomy chapter 13 to chapter 17. Please don't mind the background noise. I'm in a workspace. <laughs> People are discussing whatever. Uh, we are reading from Deuteronomy chapter 13 to chapter 17 today. I might have to pause this thing off. So Deuteronomy chapter 13 to chapter 17. Chapter 13. If there arises among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams, and he gives you a sign or a wonder, and the sign or the wonder comes to pass, of which he spoke to you, saying, Let us go after other gods, which you have not known, and let us serve them. You shall not listen to the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams, for the Lord your God is testing you to know whether you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. You shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him, and keep his commandments and obey him, and obey his voice. You shall serve him and hold fast to him. But that prophet or dream of dreams shall be put to death because he has spoken in order to turn you away from the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt and redeemed you from the house of bondage to entice you from the way in which the Lord your God commanded you to walk. So you shall put away the evil from your midst. If your brother, the son of your mother, your son or your daughter, the wife of your bosom, or your friend who is as your own soul, secretly entices you, saying, Let us go and serve other gods, which you have not known, neither you nor your fathers, of the gods of the people which are all around you, yet you are far off from you. From one end of the earth to the other end of the earth, you shall not consent to him or listen to him, nor shall your eyes pity him, nor shall you spare him or conceal him, but you shall surely kill him. Your hand shall be first against him to put him to death. And afterwards, the hand of all the people, and you shall stone him with stones until he dies, because he sought to entice you away from the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage. So all Israel shall hear and fear, and not again do such wickedness as this among you. If you hear someone in one of your cities, which the Lord your God gives you to dwell in, saying, Corrupt men have gone out from among you, and enticed the inhabitants of their city, saying, Let us go and serve other gods, which you have not known. Then you shall inquire, search out, and ask diligently. And if it is indeed true and certain that such an abomination was committed among you, you shall surely strike the inhabitants of that city with the edge of the sword, utterly destroying it, all that is in it, and its livestock, with the edge of the sword. And you shall gather all its plunder into the midst of the streets, and completely burn with fire the city and all its plunder. For the Lord your God, for the Lord your God. It shall be a heap forever, it shall not be built again. So none of the accursed things shall remain in your hand, that the Lord may turn from the fierceness of his anger and show you mercy. Have compassion on you and multiply you, just as he swore to your fathers, because you have listened to the voice of the Lord your God, to keep all his commandments which I command you today, to do what is right in the eyes of the Lord your God. Chapter 14. You are the children of the Lord your God. You shall not cut yourselves, nor shave the front of your head for the dead. For you are a holy people to the Lord your God. And the Lord has chosen you to be a people for, for himself, a special treasure above all the peoples who are on the surface of the earth. You shall not eat any detestable thing. These are the animals which you may eat. The ox, the sheep, the goat, the deer, the gazelle, the roe, the deer, the white goat, the mountain goat, the antelope, and the mountain sheep. And you may eat every animal with cloven hoofs, having the hoof split into two parts, and that chews the cord among the animals. Nevertheless, of those that chew the cord, or have cloven hoofs, you shall not eat such as this, the camel, the air, the rock, irax, for they chew the cord, but do not have cloven hoofs. They are unclean for you. Also, the swine is unclean for you, because it has cloven hoofs, yet does not chew the cord. You shall not eat their flesh, nor touch their dead carcasses. This you may eat of 
This you may eat of all that are in the waters. You may eat all that have fins and scales. And whatever does not have fins and scales, you shall not eat. It is unclean for you. All clean birds you may eat, but this you shall not eat. The eagle, the vulture, the buzzard, the red kite, the falcon, and the kite after their kinds. Every raven after its kind. The ostrich, the short-eared owl, the sea god, and the elk after their kinds. The little owl, the screech owl, the white owl, the jackdaw, the carrion vulture, the fisher owl, the stock, the heron after its kind, and the upu and the bat. I hope I pronounce that word. Ah. Also, every creepy thing that flies is unclean for you. They shall not be eaten. You may eat all clean birds, but you shall not eat anything that, that dies of itself. You may give it to the alien who is within your gate that he may eat it or you may sell it to a foreigner for you are your only people to the lord your god you shall not boil a young goat in its mother's milk you shall truly tithe all your all the of you shall truly tithe all the increase of your grain that the field produces year by year you shall eat before the lord your god in the place where he chooses to make his name abide the tithe the side the tithe of your grain and your new wine and your oil i will force one of your huts and your flocks that you may learn to fear the lord your god always but if the journey is too long for you so that you are not able to carry the tithe or if the place where the lord your god chooses to put his name is too far from you when the lord your god has blessed you then you shall exchange it for money take the money in your hand and go to the place which the lord your god chooses and you shall spend that money for whatever your heart desires for oxen or sheep for wine or similar drink for whatever your heart desires you shall eat there before the lord your god and you shall rejoice you and your household you shall not forsake the levite who is within your gates for he has no part nor inheritance with you at the end of every third year you shall bring out the tithe the tithe of your produce of that year and store it up within your gates and the levite because he has no portion nor inheritance with you and the stranger and the fatherless and the fatherless and the widow who are within your gates may come and eat and be satisfied that the lord your god may bless you in all the work of your hand which you do chapter 15 at the end of every seven years you shall grant a release of debt and this is the form of the release every creditor who has lent anything to his neighbor shall release it he shall not require it of his neighbor or his brother because it is called the lord's release of a foreigner you may require it but you shall give up your claim to what is owned by your brother except when there may be no poor among you for the lord will greatly bless you in the land which the lord your god has given you to possess as an inheritance only if you carefully obey, obey the voice of the lord your god so observe with care all these commandments which i command you today for the lord your god will bless you just as he promised you you shall lend to many nations but you shall not borrow you shall reign over many nations but they shall not reign over you if there is among you a poor man of your brethren within any of the gates in your land which the lord your god is giving you you shall not add in your heart nor shut your hand from your poor brother but you shall open your hand wide to him and willingly lend him sufficient for his need whatever he needs Beware, lest there be a wicked thought in your head, in your head, saying, Your seventh year, the year of release, is at hand, and your eye be evil against your poor brother, and you give him nothing, and you cry out to the Lord against him, and it becomes sin among you. You shall surely give him, and your heart shall, and your heart should not be grieved when you give him, because for this thing the Lord your God will bless you in all your works, and in all to which you put your hand, for the poor will never cease from the land. Therefore I command you, you shall open your hand wide to your brother, to your poor and to your poor and your needy in your land. If your brother, a Hebrew man, or a Hebrew woman is sold to you and serves you six years, then in the seventh year you shall let him go free from you. And when you send him away free from you, you shall not let him go empty handed. You shall supply him liberally from your flock, from your treasure floor, and from your wine press, from what the Lord your God has blessed you with. And you shall give him. You shall remember that you were a slave in the land of Egypt, and the Lord your God redeemed you. Therefore, I command you this thing today. And if it happens that he says to you, I will not go away from you because he loves you and your house, since he prospers with you, then you shall take an owl and trust it through his ear to the door, and he shall be your servant forever. 
also to your female servant you shall do likewise and shall not seem add to you when you send him away free from you for he has been worth a double higher servant in serving you six years then the lord your god will bless you in all that you do all the firstborn males that come from your earth and your flock you shall sanctify to the lord your god you shall do no work with the firstborn of your earth nor share the firstborn of your flock you and your household shall eat it before the lord your god year by year in the place which the lord chooses but if there is a defect in it if it is lame or blind or has any serious defect you shall not sacrifice it to the lord your god you may eat it within your gates the unclean and the clean person alike may eat it and as if it were a gazelle or a day only you shall not eat its blood you shall pour it on the ground like water chapter 16 observe the month of abib and keep the Passover to the Lord your God. For in the month of Abib, the Lord your God brought you out of Egypt by night. Therefore, you shall sacrifice the Passover to the Lord your God from the flock and the earth, and in the place where the Lord chooses to put his name. You shall eat no living bread with it. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread with it, that is, the bread of affliction. For you came out of the land of Egypt in haste, that you may remember the day in which you came out of the land of Egypt all the days of your life. Do they still do all these things in Israel? <laughs> I don't think they do. And no living shall be seen among you in all your territory for seven years, for seven days. Nor shall any of the meat which you sacrifice the first day at twilight remain overnight until morning. You may not sacrifice the Passover within any of your gates, which the Lord your God gives to you, gives you. But at the place where the Lord your God chooses to make his name abide, there you shall sacrifice the Passover at twilight, at the going down of the sun. At the time you came out of Egypt, and you shall roast and eat it in the place which the Lord your God chooses. And in the morning you shall turn and go to your tents. Six days you shall eat unleavened bread. And on the seventh day there shall be a sacred assembly to the Lord your God. You, should, you shall do no work on it. You shall count seven weeks for yourself. Begin to count the seven weeks from the time you begin to put the sickle to the ground. Then you shall keep the feast of the weeks to the Lord your God with the tribute of a free will offering from your hand which you shall give as the Lord your God blesses you. You shall rejoice before the Lord your God, you and your son and your daughter, your male servants and your female servants, the Levites who is within your gates, the stranger and the fatherless, and the widow who are among you, at the place where the Lord your God chooses to make his name abide. And you shall remember that you were a slave in Egypt, and you shall be careful to observe these statutes. You shall observe the Feast of Tabernacles seven days, when you have gathered from your treasure floor and from your wine press, and shall rejoice in your tent, in your feast, you and your son and your daughter, your male servants and your female servants, and the Levite, the stranger and the father and the fatherless, and the widow who are within your gate. Seven days you shall keep a sacred feast to the Lord your God in the place which the Lord chooses, because the Lord your God will bless you in all your produce and in all the works of your hands, so that you surely rejoice. Three times a year, all your meals shall appear before the Lord your God. In the place which he chooses, at the feast of unleavened bread, at the feast of weeks, at the feast of tabernacles, and they shall not appear before the Lord empty handed. Every man shall give as he is able, according to the blessing of the Lord your God, which he has given, which he has given you. You shall appoint judges and officers in all your gates, which the in all your gates which the Lord your God gives you according to your tribes, and they shall judge the people with just judgment. You shall not pervert justice. You shall not show partiality, nor take a bribe, for a bribe blinds the eyes of the wise and twists the word of the righteous. You shall follow what is altogether just, that you may live and inherit the land which the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not plot for yourself any tree, a wooden. You shall not plant for your tree. You shall not. You shall not plant for yourself any tree as a wooden image near the altar which you build for yourself to the Lord your God. You shall not set up a sacred pillar which the Lord your God eats. Chapter 17. You shall not the final chapter. You shall not sacrifice to the Lord your God a bull or sheep which has any blemish or defect. That's for that is an abomination to the Lord your God. If there is found among you within any of your gates, which the Lord your God gives you, a man or a woman who has been wicked in the sight of the Lord your God, in transgressing his covenant, who has gone and served other gods and worshipped them, either the sun or moon or any of the hosts of heaven, which I have not commanded, and it is told you, on the year of it, then you shall inquire diligently, and if it is indeed true and certain that such an abomination has been committed in Israel, then you shall bring out to your gates that man or woman who has committed 
who has committed that wicked thing and shall stone to death that man or woman with stones. Whoever is deserving of death shall be put to death on the testimony of two or three witnesses. He shall not be put to death on the testimony of one witness. The hand of the witnesses shall be the first against him to put him to death. And afterwards, the hand of all the people. So you shall put away the evil from among you. If a matter arises which is too hard for you to judge, between degrees of guilt for bloodshed, between one judgment or another, or between one punishment or another, matters of controversy within your gate, then you shall arise and go up to the place which the Lord your God chooses, and you shall come to the priest, the Levite, and to the judge there in those days, and inquire of them. They shall pronounce upon the they shall pronounce upon you the sentence which they pronounce which they pronounce upon you in that place which the Lord chooses. Oh. They shall pronounce upon you the sentence of judgment. You shall do according to the sentence which they pronounce upon you in that place which the Lord chooses. And you shall be careful to do according to all that they order you, according to the sentence of the law in which they instruct you, according to the judgment which they tell you. You shall do. You shall not turn aside to the right hand or to the left from the sentence which they pronounce upon you. Now the man who acts presumptuously and will not eat the priest who stands to minister the day before the Lord your God or the judge, that man shall die. You shall put away if you shall put away the evil from Israel, and all the people who shall hear and fear, and no longer act presumptuously. When you come to the land which the Lord your God is giving you, and possess it and dwell in it, and say, I will set a king over me like all the nations who, that are around me, you shall surely set a king over you, whom the Lord your God chooses, one from among your brethren, you shall set a king, you shall set as king over you. You may not set a foreigner over you who is not your brother, but he shall not but he shall not multiply horses for himself, nor cause the people to return to Egypt to multiply horses. For the Lord has said to you, You shall not return that way again. Neither shall he multiply wives for himself, lest his heart turn away. Nor shall he greatly multiply silver and gold for himself. Also it shall be, when he sits on the throne of his kingdom, that he shall write for himself a copy of this law in the book, from the one before the priest, the Levite, and it shall be with him. And shall and he shall read it all the days of his life, that he may learn to fear the Lord his God, and be careful to observe all the words of this law and these statutes, that his heart may not be lifted above his brethren, that he may not turn aside from the commandment to the right hand or to the left, and that he may prolong his days in his kingdom, he and his children in the midst of Israel. The end of today's reading. And please, you don't necessarily have to come to YouTube and start watching this video. <laughs> you can take your Bible and every day read five chapters. Just keep reading five chapters and whenever you have the time, you can check this video out on YouTube and read along with me. But if you can't come to YouTube every day, just take your Bible and read just five chapters, five chapters a day and you're going to finish it. Thank you very much for listening to this episode of Bible reading. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.